objective of this particular session, we are trying to talk about rural water supply and the availability, affordability, and accessibility and sustainability. What we, we are left with about three years to, to the, toward the end of MDGs, and we want to take stock of whether we have done enough, especially in the rural setting. Of course, finding that showing that we haven't done enough in the rural setting, that the rural communities are getting an unfair deal, and uh, they are being forced to take technology that they cannot uh, understand and adapt to. So we really want to come up with this new realization and the strategies. How do we utilize the remaining three years to make a difference in rural water supply you know, globally, and of course, particularly in those areas where supply is the minimum, like areas like Africa, the Latin America, and the small islands. So that is one of the main reasons. Solution, the solution we are talking about uh, uh, technology that is uh, adaptable to the challenges of the communities that we are trying to serve. We are also looking at self-supply, things like rainwater harvesting. We are also looking at simple technologies of cleaning water instead of waiting for chlorination and a big water supply system that require huge amounts of money. We can adapt technologies where the local communities can actually clean their own water provided the water is available. And they want to make sure that the water is available by making sure that we rain, we harvest the rain water because every drop that comes should be counting and should be preserved so that we have water. So once we do the self-supply and they also introduce a, a pragmatic technologies, I think we'll be able to cut short or fast track the delivery of water services to the rural communities and we may be able to reach somewhere near our target by 2015.